time again for another installment of The Basics, and on today's show I want to switch over to Magic the Gathering and talk about creature strategies. And I'm going to show you two things that really drive me crazy that a lot of people, especially new players, do in Magic the Gathering. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I've simulated a two-player game that's maybe four turns in. The primary deck I'm using is my red deck with my hand upturned so you can see what's in it. The opponent's using a blue deck. We've both spent the first three turns putting out land. We each have three land. On his fourth turn, he has tapped his land to bring out Zurin Spellcaster. Cost of three. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. Now, here comes the part that drives me crazy, is where somebody will do that, they'll put out their first creature, and they'll have a hand, the opponent will have a hand that has some really decent cards, they will either skip putting out a lesser creature, another 1-1, one, one, that only costs 1, why would you not do that, and they'll either wait to bring out something with a higher cost, like Fire Elemental, for example, with a cost of 5, and it's a 5-4, because they think that by waiting, they can bring this out and then slam their opponent. It doesn't work that way. So what happens? It takes you, what? You need 5 lands, so you have to bring out 2 more land that's wasting another 2 turns before you can even bring it out. Your opponent, providing he has a couple more 1-1s one -ones that cost even less, he can bring out realistically one or two more creatures and or a wall and or something else that deals damage straight to you or a creature you don't have out. Why would you wait to bring out a higher powered creature? And I've said this before in previous episodes that you want to bring out the, the smaller stuff first because you have less land to do it. Why would you wait to bring out something more and take all that time and mana? Let's move on to the second thing that drives me crazy. Okay, so now the second thing that really drives me bonkers, and this is something I like to call predetermined creature battles. And the reason for this is you get to a stage in the game where now you're maybe about 10 turns or so in, everyone's starting to build even more mana. You have the battlefield looking something like this where both players are completely preoccupied with creature battles and matching up their creatures against their opponent's creatures that they're not using other more important cards sitting in their hand. And I've been witness to a game like this on the internet where other people were even commenting, I think it was being live streamed on uh, YouTube, and the comments were just like, dude, what do you have in your hand? So you can have cards like Stone Rain, destroy a target land, incinerate deals 3 damage to target creature or player, Ball Lightning has Trample, you could even put out an artifact creature with First Strike, but mainly the cards that deal damage to player or creature or destroy lands or artifacts, why would you get locked into a number versus number battle with creatures when you could be dealing life point damage? very quickly and or killing your opponent's lands. I can't figure out why people end up getting locked into that. And upon watching that game on the internet, I was appalled because you'd think, especially with more experienced Magic players, I'm not sure if they were beginners or not, but all you saw was creature cards come out. Nobody was playing instants or sorceries or any destruction cards. And a lot of people were scratching their heads. And the commentary afterwards, oh man. Do not get locked in creature battles that never end. There's a reason why instants and sorceries and destructive cards are in the game. Now, I know someone watching this is going to say that I am nitpicking pretty hardcore. I don't think so, because we've all watched games and how they, they proceed. And if you're an experienced Magic player, or even if you've played it a few times, you know that you have to use every card type to your own advantage. Your deck has to be fully stocked and diverse enough to have a lot of instants and sorceries to complement the creatures. You can't just sit there and focus on a creature battle and think you're going to win the game. 
right? That's all for today. Have a great day, everybody.